Hello, all creative filmmakers. In this video, I am going to show you how to make a vintage retro Super 8 look in Premiere Pro, like this. In this tutorial, we will just use some built in effects and free overlays. So, let's start. Now we are inside Premiere Pro. Here, you can see, I have already got one video footage. A happy couple having fun and good times. And here, you can see, I have got three overlay videos. Super 8 overlay. Film burn overlay. And damage overlay. Two of them, I found on pixabay.com. And the other one is, from video.net. I will add some links, in the description. So, you can download them, as well. First of all, drag and drop this damage overlay, to the timeline. As you can see, this is a black overlay video. Now, select this overlay, and move over to the effect controls panel. From the blend mode, we have to select normal to screen. And then, as you can see here, on the timeline, this overlay video is not long enough, to cover the entire video clip. Now, copy and then place this after the other one. Next, move over to the project panel. And, drag and drop this film burn overlay, to the timeline. Here, you can see, this overlay is not perfect enough, to cover the entire program monitor. So, we need to scale it up. Now, select this overlay, and move over to the effect controls panel. Then, increase the scale value. Then, from the blend mode, we have to select normal to screen. Again, move over to the project panel. Then, drag and drop this Super 8 overlay, to the timeline. Now, select this overlay, and move over to the effect controls panel. Then, from the blend mode, we have to select normal to darken. Now, select this razor tool. Then, cut all the overlays, at this point. Next. Delete all the extra parts. Now, select this video clip. And move over to the Lumetri color panel. Now, from the basic correction, we have to change something. To make this look like the Super 8 footage, I will start by lowering the contrast value, around minus 35.4. Then, make the highlights value, around 34.3 Next, I'm going to make the shadows value, around, 45.1 And then, make the whites value, around minus 36.6 Then, I am going to make the blacks value, around 78.9 And finally, make the saturation value, around 84 Now, we need to go to the color wheel step. And here, I'm going to add a subtle increase of green, to the mid-tones color wheel. That looks great. I think, that is enough color grading for now. Now, and move over to the effects panel, to add an effect. This is a noise effect. Now, drag and drop this noise effect, to the video clip. Next, move over to the effect controls panel. And, from the noise effect, make the amount of noise value, around 25. Again, move over to the effects panel, to add an effect. This is a Gaussian blur effect. Now, drag and drop this Gaussian blur effect, to the video clip. Next, Move over to the Effect Controls panel. And, from the Gaussian Blur effect, make the blurriness value, around 4. Now, we are done. Let's preview the Super 8 video. In this way, you can give, 
your modern digital footage, an old school vintage look, like this. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like the video and leave a comment.